Hi everyone, I'm Tori, an adult doll collector. I create content for the enjoyment of other adult doll collectors and doll enthusiasts. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back this evening. I want to change this Lee Middleton doll. This is a Riva Schick sculpt. I do not know what the sculpt name is, but I know that some of my subscribers must know. So if you do know the sculpt, please leave it in the comments for me. You all will not believe how much I paid for this doll. Okay, so look at this doll. In very, very good condition, almost pristine condition. I paid $3, $2.99 at the thrift store today. I found this Lee Middleton doll. I could not believe it. I was so excited. I was freaking out. And when I got home, I cleaned her up and she's pretty much as good as new. I did wash her wig, so it's a little bit damp right now. So just excuse that. But I could not wait to dress her up. So I want to dress her up. I've got a really cute winter outfit for her. This muslin snowflake dress with the matching diaper cover. And some little cream knee-high socks because... She does have the one quarter limbs, so she needed some little knee-high socks or tights or something. I don't have any tights that are this doll's size, so little knee-high socks are going to have to do. Doesn't match the greatest, but it'll be okay. And I just wanted to chat about thrifting because this is my best dolly thrifting find ever ever <laughs> i've seen these dolls in antique malls um nearby i have seen them oh let me get her diaper hold on i think i have some right here yes i do hopefully a newborn size diaper will fit her she's a little chunky i know i have size one diapers somewhere but I should be able to make this work. So, as I was saying, I have seen some of these dolls at local antique malls. But they're usually priced pretty high. These dolls at my local antique stores usually sell... I've seen them from... $50 up to like $150 depending on just the person selling them. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact baby in a local antique mall like last year. I wanted to buy it, but one, it was not in great shape. It had some really bad scratches that were deep in the vinyl could not be removed. Um, they wanted like $60 for it. I just wasn't willing to pay that. It did have the original outfit, but it wasn't even in nearly as good a condition as this doll that I just found. So yeah, I wanted this particular Lee Middleton for a while now, a couple years. And I can't believe that I found this one for three dollars. I just can't get over it. I even thought about doing a little doll thrifting video today. I don't normally go into this particular thrift store, but it is one of my favorites when I'm in that town. And I had a doctor's appointment to go to today. So I asked my husband, hey, can we just run in there really quick? I wanna see what they have. Sometimes they have 
some really nice plushies or something because as you all know I mean as you can see here I collect plushies as well as dolls so my husband was like yeah sure why not we're already over here I said hmm maybe I could film a little video going doll hunting at the thrift store but I didn't I was like no I'm not gonna find anything that great and what do you know of course the one time I decided not to film because it was pointless that I wasn't gonna find anything that I found this baby of course and um I also bought a little baby alive doll for my daughter because they had a bunch of those in really good condition for only a couple dollars each as well so I let her pick one that she wanted she's super happy with her little doll purchase for the day she's so cute she's been pushing her little doll around in um her little doll carriage all evening so far okay let's put these little socks on she's gonna look so cute in this I don't have any name ideas for her either because obviously she was a completely unexpected adoption. <laughs> I would love to hear in the comments what your best doll thrifting find has ever been. Um, was it a doll? Was it baby clothing? Was it baby furniture for your reborn doll nursery or your vintage doll nursery? Whatever um, you collect. What was your best thrifting find? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I love thrifting. Big fan. The other thing that I found today was, um, really great children's books. So a lot of our thrift stores have 59 cent children's books. I went a little overboard. I bought my kids a bunch of new books, but they really love to read. They love to be read to in the evenings before bedtime. So 59 cent books are just great. And I have really young kids. So to be honest, sometimes they go a little crazy and they will rip a page out of a book unexpectedly or something like that. So, you know, if I pay 59 cents for a book, it's not as big of a deal as it would be if I went to, like, Barnes & Noble, purchased a book there. Barnes & Noble is super expensive, especially for children's books, um, for little kids who may do some level of damage to them. <laughs> Oh, look at her. When her hair dries, it'll look a little better, too. This is just a wig, so um, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of the Lee Middleton wigs, but they're okay. This dress fits her so nicely. I love that she can suck her thumb. It's just the cutest thing. Anyway... That's my little video for the evening. I just wanted to share my amazing thrift store find with you all. And I would love to hear in the comments what your most amazing Dolly thrift store find has been. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!